What's going on guys, it's Migs with X Dynamics, and I'm here to show you the features and what each button does on the dual touchscreen ground station. And I'm also here to show you guys how easy it is to customize each button to your personal style. What's great about the Evolve 2's ground station is how easily it is to change the settings of the ground station without having to lift up your hands from the controller. Let's start off by showing you guys how to start your Evolve 2 with just using the control sticks. All you have to do is press the control six down and inward, and this will engage the motors. Once the motors are engaged, all you have to do is press your left stick up and your drone will launch. Keep in mind that you're able to adjust the stick sensitivities through the settings to whatever you're comfortable with. So now let's jump into the buttons. We're gonna talk about the B1 and the B2. These buttons are both customizable, but the B1 button is set to focus magnifier by default. If you press it once, it will magnify your image so you're able to find your focus, and once you're done, just press it again. The B2 button is set to default to viewfinder full screen. Press the B2 button for a few seconds, it will allow you to select the camera settings on the viewfinder. And if you aren't happy about those settings, there are three other options for customization, which is grid line, gimbal roll center, and playback. This button is self-explanatory. It's a photo button. If you half press it, it will focus your image. And when you hard press it, it will take the image for you. Keep in mind that if you're in video mode and you press the photo button, it will switch from video mode to photo mode. This next button is also self-explanatory. It's the video record button. So if you press it, it's gonna record your video. And just like in photo mode, if you press the video record button, it's gonna switch your modes. This is the R1 wheel. It's used to control the camera pitch from zero to 90 degrees. You can also add plus or minus 20 degrees to each side if you decide to do that. The R2 wheel is to control your camera roll, which is great when you wanna level your horizon. C1 to C4 buttons are all customizable. By default, the C1 is set to bring your gimbal back to zero degrees. This is really helpful if you wanna reset everything so you don't miss your next composition. By default, the C2 is set to face your camera down. This is really helpful if you wanna do some top-down shots or bird's eye view. The C3 is set to center autofocus. I like using this when I'm shooting landscapes as I want the center of the frame to be in focus. The C4 button is set to AE lock and unlock. The AE lock function allows you to lock your exposure settings and continue shooting without your ISO, aperture, shutter speed readjusting when you recompose your shots. RTH is the return to home button where the drone flies autonomously back to where you launched your drone from. The last thing I need to show you guys is how to land and disarm your drone. When you're landing your drone, all you have to do is press down on the sticks and out and your drone will disarm its motors and turn off. Well, that's it on our ground station. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask us in the comments down below. It's Migs with X Dynamics, and we'll see you guys in the next one.